So let's talk about an underused way to generate much more consistent lead flow. Now, this all comes down to building your brand. Now, some of you are gonna say, oh, I'm gonna click off the video now, I've heard this before. Pause, take a moment, listen to what I've got to say because I've got a unique way of thinking about this. Now, yes, building your brand is something that has been spoken about a lot, certainly in the last year or so. But the reason it's important is for a couple of core reasons. One is, if you have a really strong outbound strategy and you are generating good, consistent lead flow, one of the best ways to accelerate it is by building your brand because what can often happen is when you've sent an outreach message to someone, let's say it's by email, which is the channel we focus on, one of the first things they're gonna do is they're gonna take your name and they're gonna go and put it into LinkedIn. And they wanna have a look at who are you, right? How are you best served to be able to deliver on the promise that you are talking about in your outreach message? And if you don't have a compelling brand, if you don't have a profile that looks compelling, if you don't have a track record that looks strong, what can happen is you can actually have an immediate disconnect and they may not respond. Whereas if you've got a really compelling brand, you deliver great content, you are consistent, all of this shows up for the type of person that that organization is gonna feel good about wanting to work with. So if you think about person A, who's got a compelling brand and all of those ingredients versus person B, the conversion rate from outreach message to a response for person A will no be notably higher than person B. So this is just like a quick, easy, underused hack really for you to put yourself in a position where you're gonna have a much better conversion rate. So do it, right? It just, it's like a no brainer, especially in 2024. It's one of the best ways to cut through the noise, have a brand, have a voice, have a perspective, go out there and share it online. A lot of people then say, well, actually, let me come on to that in a moment. I'll, I'll talk a bit about some tactical ways to go on and actually build your brand. The, the other reason that it's important to build your brand is because your brand itself can generate inbound leads and it can do it at scale and at high volume, especially if you put out really good content and there's good thought leadership in that content. So if you've now got an outbound strategy dialed in by working with us, Fetched, if you're not already working with us, go on our website, fetched.ai, book a call. We'll talk about your strategy to make sure you've got Good, a good consistent outbound mechanism, or go on my LinkedIn profile, type in Alex Elaine, drop me a direct message or hit the button, let's scale. And we can make sure you've got the outbound bit set in stone and, and working really well. But then you also want an inbound mechanism, which is why we're talking about your brand. So what can happen is through all of the content that you're putting out, people will start to reach out to you because they'll see you as a thought leader. They get to know you as a person. You don't have to do videos like I do. You can just do blogs. You can just do written text posts on Twitter, on LinkedIn, wherever your audience are, find your, your, your niche, find your market and then produce content. So now let's talk about producing content. The first thing is what I just said, right? Figure out what are you comfortable with, but not only what are you comfortable with, what can you do consistently? Some people don't wanna do video. It's just not their channel, it's not their thing. And there's no point doing it. I can talk to you and say, well, you, you should do things that are hard or things you don't wanna do anyway. Yes, I do generally agree with that, but if you're not gonna do it consistently, there's no point. So if you're more comfortable writing short form content, then do that. If you're more comfortable doing video, then do that but you need to be wherever your audience are. So there's various different, of course, social media channels. Most of my audience are on LinkedIn, uh, so that's my focus. I also put out these videos on YouTube because some of the audience are there. Um, but my audience isn't really on a channel like Instagram, so I don't really spend time on it, even though I have a profile. So you've got to figure out where are your audience and then show up for them. They want to see you, they want to hear from you, they want thought leadership. Then people will say, well, Alex, I don't know what to post. Now, if you know about your market and you know about what you do because you can add value, then talk about that, right? Demonstrate your thought leadership, demonstrate your expertise. If you struggle with that, then talk about your experiences, right? Talk about the lessons you've learned, successes, wins, failures, ups, downs. Uh, talk about your journey, right? Uh, build in public. Uh, these are all ways that you can go about really cultivating a, a situation where people get to know you, they get to trust you, they get to like you, but start somewhere, right? Don't do nothing because the only way you're not going to achieve anything is if you do absolutely nothing and then you're not going to achieve anything, right? So uh, bear all of this in mind, um, start somewhere, 
you start to build an audience and then as you go about doing that, you'll put yourself in a situation where you can have continual growth and continual success. I hope this video has been helpful in some way and I look forward to seeing you on the next one.